Good morning, good morning, good morning. How many people am I expecting? I think there's gonna be like 16 kiddos. I see three right now. I see a young lady in blue beads. I see a young man in a red and black shirt. And I see a young man in a white shirt. If you can hear me, thumbs up, please. Thumbs up if you can hear me. I see Miss Angela. Good morning, Miss Angela. Let me know when you're ready for me to start. Can you see my slides? It has a pink word that says black and robotics. I won't start until I hear from Miss Angela. All right, Angela, I'm gonna start till you tell me to start. Can you hear me? Did you just go have the pipe there? Well, don't it's up. I mean, you have to go down the field. Wow. Which way did it work? Yeah. 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 I 
How many more we got to go, Angela? I don't know if she can hear me talking. I'm gonna text her. You got these that you've read. Yeah. Okay, you need to read some more. Can you read more? Are there more in the back? Did you like this one? Did you get this one for me? You did? I got an older. You did? In that. Oh, that one. Tangerine. Okay, keep going. You're kidding, but I think that's awesome. Oh my gosh, 17. Look at you go. You're kicking butt. Keep, keep, keep going. Keep going. Just wait, 
What? Oh, I love you. All right, I see two young ladies, one with brown beads and one with blue Listen, beads. Can y'all hear can hear me? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. Okay. All right, nobody can hear me. I oh. Hi. Hi. I see. I see two young men behind the young lady in the blue bead. <laughs> the fella in the black and red shirt and the fella in the white shirt. I see Miss Angela. Does everybody have a question? All right, hold on. Somebody else is coming. All right. Two kiddos per Two kiddos per computer. Are y'all dancing? No. You're dancing. Okay. Eight computers. 16 kids, kids per computer. Are we good? I won't start to. Yes, ma'am. Everybody's has a computer now. Yes. Woo! Let's go. Oh, oh. What? Did I scare you? <laughs> You're sure everybody's on the computer. Okay. Miss Angela's still walking around. Hold on. I want to start at quarter after. You know what time quarter after is? Did you say no? 15 after. 15 after. I need a thumbs up from Miss Angela before I go. Can y'all see my words at the bottom? When I'm talking? Okay, I see another computer coming in. Hold on. There's somebody else coming. Yay. See, see, you tried to make me start. I would have missed it. Angela, I'll start whenever you're ready. Can Miss Angela hear me talking? I don't know. Is there any volume? I don't think so. She can't hear me. Let me text she her. Tried. Let me know when to start. Okay. How about everybody go in the chat and introduce yourselves? Do you know how to click the chat button and say hi? Oh, um, oh it's right here. Good morning. I am Miss Carlotta. Hi. Oh, Lord. Okay. You're messing me up. No inappropriate in the chat, please. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, I'm starting now. Starting. Okay. I got to say my name. I am Carlotta Berry, and I'm a professor in robotics. And today, you guys are doing some robotics coding. I hear a lot of talking going on, though. I'm going to mute myself. Yeah, mute your mic, mute your mic, mute your mic. And I need everybody listening. If you want to ask questions, put it in the chat. I see one person in the chat. I think it's Rainia. Rainia? Rainia. Marquise, oh. put your name in the chat so I know who's talking to. Okay, 
All right, we're gonna get started now. Welcome everybody, welcome. This is your Black and Robotics workshop. So you're gonna do a little bit of coding to help you get ready for when you're ready to build and program your robot. So I wanna show you a video first. And this video is a little bit about why I do the things that I do. And one of them is me. And then the other one is my daughter where I show you the robot that she built. Let me figure out why these videos are not playing though. And of course the videos are not playing. That's all right, it's part of life. We'll keep going. You'll see another video in a minute. I don't know why that one didn't play. It's so weird. So my science is for the streets means that I use engineering and science to get kids excited about thinking about a career in doing that later. So I don't know why my TikTok video is not playing. That's making me mad. But anyway, let's move on. So a person is the product of their dreams. So make sure to dream big dreams and then try to live your dreams. That's by Maya Angelou. She's a famous poet, right? So I became an engineer because when I was you guys age, I used to really, really like math and science. Who likes math and science? Yeah, that's right. Math and science are really cool. And one thing to do when you like math and science is to think about becoming an engineer. There's not a lot of black and brown engineers like us. So we have to work hard and do things like what me and Miss Angela are doing to get more of you want to do it. This is what engineers normally look like. Can anybody type in the chat and tell me what's the common thing you see among all those engineers? Type in the chat and tell me what is similar about all those engineers. They're all, yeah, they're smart, but they're also all men or boys. And they all look the same and they're all white. Well, we do what we do because we don't want engineering to look like that. We want engineering to look like this. What is the, what can you tell me about this one? What, what does this one look like? Tell me what this picture looks like to you. Type in the chat and tell me what's the difference between these engineers and the engineers you just saw. You can work together if you want. They don't all look the same. They all look what? Somebody put C-O-L-L. -L. I don't know what coal is. What's coal mean? <laughs> Type in the chat. They all, they all love engineering. They're still smart, but they all look different. There's girls, there's boys, there's black people, there's white people, there's Asian people, there's Indian people, there's Hispanic people. This is why we do the stuff we do because we want engineers to look like a rainbow like us, right? So that's what I do. I teach robotics to lots of different people in order to get them excited about robotics. And I want you to get you excited today by working on coding, okay? So I take robotics out of the classroom and I teach it to little kids. I teach it to middle school kids. I teach it to high school kids. So what grade are you guys in? Everybody hold up a number. Fifth grade, your fifth grade. So these kiddos here in the bottom middle, they were in the fifth and sixth grade and they were the gamer girls. That's a robotics team. And they program robots in first Lego league and they program robots in VEX. You're gonna do VEX robotics coding today. So I'm gonna show you how to do some of that. And that's where they got their start before they became their robotics team. And that's an all girls robotics team. And it's really rare to have an all girls team. You know what? I just noticed my captions are no longer on and I don't know why. So while this is going, let me see if I can get the captions back on. 
So hold on one second. Mm -hmm. I'm coming back. Just keep talking to yourselves in the chat while I get the captions back on. Hold on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, hold on, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. All right, so here's my slides back and I need to get my captions back on. So for those of you who are following along, you can see them while I'm talking. Okay, so, all right. Do you see the words again? Thumbs up if you can see my words under the bottom while I talk, okay, good. So what I call this is I'm a nowhere stimulist. The stimulus is somebody who really wants to promote STEM to women, and I am also really big on promoting it to brown and black people. So I call that an aware STEMinist. So I teach robotics, I teach engineering, and that's because we want to diversify STEM. So what is a robot? What is a robot? Type in the chat and tell me what you think a robot is. Type in the chat. What is a robot? Hi, David. Hi, Akila. What is a robot? That's it. That's what you should be answering in the chat right now. Did anybody else type while I was trying to get everything back up? Hi, Jaz Jazia. Hi, Ashanti. Hi, Amarion. Hi, Colin. Uh, my screen's not big enough to see everybody's name. I'm trying to find, get everybody's name. Um, what is a robot? A machine. Yes, yes, yes. A robot is a machine. It's a machine that can make decisions and may and do tasks based upon uh, code. So today you're going to be doing some coding. Hi, Amir. Hi, Omar. An Ekranak person? I don't know what an Ekranak is, but okay. All right, so it moves. It's animatronic. That's right, animatronic. So here's one example. You have mobile robots. You have flying robots. You can have swimming robots. You can have a robot that's a maid. Here's a robot that's a maid. She cleans up. She has a brain, a body. She has motors. She has sensors to help her to see people. A robot is a machine that moves. So here is a video of the gamer girls. This was those girls I showed you a minute ago, but now they're a whole lot older. They were in fifth and sixth grade in that picture. And now they're in seventh and eighth grade here is their VEX robotics team in a competition. This is my daughter and one of her friends. See if you can find the robots moving. Do you see the robots moving? They are driving the robots to pick up and move parts to the other side of the field for points. And that's the gamer girls in the pink, pink and black. Then at the end, they made their robot hang up for extra points. You see that? Okay, I'll show it one more time because you're gonna do some coding today. And where your coding can go is to robots just like this. Was that cool? Good, I think it's pretty cool too. So they're doing VEX robotics. And they're using a game controller to drive the robot. Has anybody ever done, used a game controller to play a video game before? Yeah, that's what they're doing. They're driving their robot. So you're gonna do some of this today. Okay. So what you're gonna do today is you're gonna go on the internet and we're gonna to go to a certain website. When I stop my slides, I'll show you the website and everybody is going to write code 
to make their robot move around. Okay. Yes. Somebody's putting 50 million S's. You're really excited, right? So when you're done, what you're going to do today in your virtual skills is you're going to make your robot move the way these robots move. And we're going to see if we can do some of the challenges together. So that's what we're going to do on their website, on the VEX website. So I think we are ready to start now because I want to make sure you guys get a chance to do some of the hands-on stuff. So by 1130, which is in three minutes, I want to be done with this. So one of the activities we can do today is we can drive our robot to make it cross out all the numbers from one to 100. So we can make it drive forward, turn left, turn right, spin in order to do that. Another challenge we can do is we can drive our robot in this virtual world. And when you put your code up here, you see the robot moving here. I think I kind of like this one the best. So I think we're gonna start here and then figure out how to make the robot move, okay? So when I'm done in just a second, we're gonna click on the internet and we're gonna go to vr.vex.com and we're gonna start doing some very basic coding and you guys are gonna write in the chat and let me know how you're doing, okay? Thumbs up if you're following, okay. The middle if you're kind of following. Thumbs down if you have no clue what's going on right now. Okay, good, I see a lot of thumbs up. All right, I think I am ready. So I'm gonna stop sharing my slides and I am now going to go to the internet. Can everybody click on the internet? You know how to get there? It's either gonna be Google Chrome, it's gonna be Edge or Firefox. I need everybody to go to the internet. Type in the chat if you don't know how to get there or get Miss Angela to help you. Once you get to the internet, I want you to type in vr.vex.com. 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 Click on that link in the chat. Click on that link in the chat, please. When I get either a thumbs up or a got it in the chat, I know you're there. Thumbs up or got it in the chat. You know you got it if your screen looks like mine, okay? My screen is showing code on the left and a robot on the right. Either give me a thumbs up or put got it in the chat, got it. I see one got it, I see two got it. I see a thumbs up from my blue bead lady. I'm trying to get a thumbs up for my brown beat lady. I think that's Zarnia. Zarnia? Zania? Zania? None of them? No! Well, I can't hear you. I think that's it. Okay, brown beat lady, I need a thumbs up. I need some more goddess. I got three goddess right now. There should be at least eight goddess. Eight goddess. I'm looking for eight goddess. I got four goddess. There's eight computers. I need eight goddess. Actually, there's more than four computers. I think there's like 11 computers, but okay. Because I'm ready to do some coding, but I don't want to leave anybody behind. And your robot is at the bottom of the screen. We're going to make your robot drive, okay?
Or maybe Miss Angela can send me a text when everybody's there. Let me type, put got it in the chat if you got it. Otravius. Otravius is ready to code, I think. Got it. Okay. I lost brown bead girl's camera, but that's okay. I still got blue bead girl. Her camera been working the whole time. Hers been on the whole time. She the only one being. <laughs> Did she dab it out? <laughs> All right. Angela, are you ready for me to start coding? Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our robot drive forward. So everybody slide drive forward over to when started. So drive forward over. Slide that over. And then we are going to push the play button to see our code run. So then you're gonna hit start. Okay. So my robot is driving forward and he's gonna drive forward forever because that's all I did was tell him to drive forward. That's not good though, because now he's hitting the wall. Uh-oh. Okay. If you got your robot to drive forward, then I want you to put got it in the chat. Okay. How are we doing? Did anybody get their robot to drive? So what did I do? Let me start over so I can show you what I did. I put drive forward under when started. And as soon as I did that, I went up here and I pushed the start button so that I could see my robot drive forward. We're gonna make our robot make a square. We're gonna make the robot drive in a square. All right. Then you push start and the screen shows up so you can see your robot driving forward, right? That's not good though, because the robot hit the wall and kept going. He didn't, he didn't realize he needed to stop. So now I'm gonna change it so that instead of just driving forward, he's gonna drive forward for just a little bit instead of driving forward forever. Okay, if any kiddos have their robots driving forward yet, please put got it in the chat. Let me type. It's big, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken. Who said their robot is broken? The person with the broken robot, raise your hand so Miss Angela can come help you. Anybody with a broken robot, raise your hand so Miss Angela can come help you. So did your robot hit the wall? Put yes or no in the chat. Did your robot hit the wall? My robot hit the other wall. You can't hear me? The person who can't hear me, put your, raise your hand. You can't hear me. Raise your hand if your robot is broken. All right, I'm now gonna delete this because I don't want to do this. I don't want my robot to hit a wall. I want my robot to drive forward for a little bit and stop. So I'm gonna change it to the second one now. Delete the first one. And push play again. And let's see how it does now. When I said I wanted the robot to drive forward 200 millimeters, it drove forward a little bit and stopped, right? Now it went forward one block. 
Did your robot go forward one block? Okay. I want my robot to go forward four blocks, four blocks, four blocks. So now I'm going to change that 200 to 800. Change 200 to 800. Change 200 to 800. And then press play again. Press the play start button. So press stop. And then press start. Okay. Stop and start. And my robot now goes forward. Uh oh. Was that four blocks? I think I went five. Did I go four? One, two, three. Oops, it went forward five, but that's okay. It went forward five blocks. Remember, I'm drawing a square. Since I want the robot to draw a square, do I want the robot to turn right or turn left? Do I want the robot to turn right or turn left? You hit the wall, who's still hitting the wall? Okay, if you hit the wall, <laughs> then delete the blue box. So click on it and delete. And then put the second blue box, okay? Put that second blue box that says drive forward for 200 millimeters. All right, turn left. You know what? I'm gonna put a turn left in here because I want you to see what happens if I make the robot turn left. So if I put turn left right here and I push stop and play again, let's look at what happened. Uh-oh. Look at it, it's turning left forever. He's turning left forever. That's not what I wanted to happen, is it? So I'm gonna push stop. What we wanted him to do was turn left, actually turn right for 90 degrees. All right, so I'm gonna delete that one and I'm gonna put turn right for 90 degrees. But now I gotta figure out how do we get him back down here at the beginning? I need to make this start over. Oh, this may be the start over. There we go. So push this circle down here to get him to start over. Push that little that little curvy arrow thing. What does re mean? Mine's not working. Raise your hand if it's not working. Miss Angelo, come help you. Raise your hand if it is not working. Okay, if yours is working, I want you to put got it in the chat. If yours is working, if yours is working, put got it in the chat. I don't see any got it's in the chat. I see one got it. Can I get two got it? I got one got it out of 16 kids. 16 kids and I got one got it. That's not good. That's no bueno. No bueno at all. I got two got it, three got it. Can I make it a four got it? Okay. Right now, everybody's robot should be in the bottom corner and we're going to run our code again. You should have drive forward for 800 millimeters. Okay, good. Now my got it to coming in. I got six got it, six got it. Okay. I now, and then I'm going to turn right for 90 degrees. Everybody push play and see what your robot does. Push the start play button. My robot is going to drive forward. and then it's gonna turn right, okay? We're making a square. We're making a square. What should I do next? If I'm making a square, what should I do next?
we're making a square. I wanna make him drive in a square and then go back home. What should I do next? Do, should he drive forward or should he turn right? Do you wanna drive forward or do you wanna turn right? I need somebody to type either drive forward or turn right in the chat. What do you want the robot to do next? I want him to make a square. You can't drive, raise your hand. Somebody said their robot's not driving. Whoever's robot is not driving, raise your hand. Okay. Did you push stop in the upper right hand corner? Did you push stop? Push the stop button, then push the recycle button to go back the circle button and then push start. All right, nobody's answering me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I need my robot to drive forward again to make a square. And then I need my robot to turn again, okay? So drive, turn, drive, turn, drive, turn. That's how we make a square. So let's play it again and tell me if your robot does what my robot does. He's going forward. He's turning. He's going forward and he turned. What's he gonna do next if I wanna make a square? Okay, I now I'm going to stop talking and I want you all to finish your square without me. Now that I've shown you the first two steps, I want you to work together with a buddy. Why? <laughs> Somebody said why? <laughs> y'all are so funny. I want you to <laughs> work with a buddy, work with a buddy and I want you to finish your square. Work with a buddy and finish your square. You're done when your robot gets back home. Work with a buddy and finish your square. Why? Tell me why. Why? Because I want you to learn how to code. Got it. Somebody's already said, somebody said they already got their robot going in a square. Whose robot is already going in a square? While you're working, I'm going to make my robot drive in a square. I'm gonna copy this here. I'm gonna make my robot drive in a square while I'm waiting on you all to get your robot to drive in a square. And then after that, we're gonna play a different game. So you better hurry up and get your robot in a square before I finish mine. Because after this, we're doing something else. Okay. So it's gonna drive forward, turn 90 degrees, 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 and then make the robot run, okay? Take a look at yours 
and look at my robot and your robot should do what mine does. Look, you see him driving in a square? Done, okay, somebody said they're done. Okay. So one thing I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna make it keep running over and over and over if I can. So if I put this orange around him, he's gonna drive in a square 10 times. When he gets done driving in a square 10 times, everybody should be finished with their robot driving in a square. Mines didn't move. Raise your hand, mines didn't move. Raise your hand, mines didn't move. All right. By the time my robot gets done making this square 10 times, we're then going to move on and do one more game. And that's where we're going to stop today. People who are not talking in the chat, let me know if your robot's driving in a square. Notice over here, the green is showing what step it's on. So every time it does something, it turns green to let me know what happens next, right? So the screen turns green every time so that I know what's going on. Right? How you doing? Blue beads, are you done? Is your robot going in a square? Raise your hand if it's not. Yours never worked. Whoever's never worked, I told you what to do. I told you to raise your hand and get Miss Angela to come help you. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care because my robot's not working. My robot's not working. My robot's not working. I need help. Raise your hands in the air. My robot's not working. Raise your hands. <laughs> raise your hand if your robot's not working this is how you raise your hand raise your hands in the air if your robot's not working oh yeah raise your hands in the air if your robot's not working oh yeah all right I'm ready to do something else because in five minutes, Miss Carlotta's got to go. No, no. Yes, in five minutes, Miss Carlotta's got to go. And I want to show you something else. Please stop. You don't like my singing? Who don't like my singing? Somebody's a hater. Okay. Oh, yes, they're a hater. Oh. Okay. All right. We're done with this. I want to show you another activity. So I'm closing all this out. I'm stopping the robot and I am deleting all this. Delete, so I'm clicking on it and I'm hitting delete. When I get off today, while you guys are still working, I want you to try one of these activities. If you click this middle button here, all these different activities come up that you can do and play games and stuff with a buddy on the computer. So when I get off today, I want everybody to pick one of these to do. I'm going to pick Castle Crasher. I'm going to pick Castle Crasher, okay? So I'm going to play the Castle Crasher game. So when I get off today, one of the games you can play is Castle Crasher. What you want to do is drive the robot to knock over the castles. So I'm going to drive the robot to knock over the castles. So if I put drive forward here and I push the play button, the robot knocks over the castles. One, two, he knocked over two castles. Uh-oh, and now he's driving off the screen. So that's not good. So I think it's like last time, I need to drive forward a certain amount of millimeters and I want to make the robot so that he knocks over the castles, okay? You are so welcome, sweetie. Somebody said, thank you, Dr. Barry. You are so welcome. So we're gonna play Castle Crasher until I leave, okay? 
I'm going to try to knock over all the castles. Your job is to try to knock over all the castles. So keep doing drive forward, turn right, turn left until all the castles are gone. Raise your hand. You are so welcome, sweetie. Um, raise your hand if you don't know how to get to Castle Crasher or you don't know how to make your robot knock the castles over. And Miss Angela's going to come help you. Okay, so I'm playing Castle Crasher 2. So I'm going to drive forward 800 millimeters. And then I'm going to turn left 90 degrees and try to knock over some of those castles in the corner. So everyone should be working on this with a buddy if you have a buddy. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Everybody is so welcome. This is fun. You are all so welcome. This is fun. You know how you can thank me the best? I want you to keep coding. You keep coding and that's how you thank me. Has anybody knocked over any castles? Good, keep going. You keep programming, you keep coding and that's how you thank me. All right. Make your robot move. That's how you thank me. Okay, so now I want to drive my robot forward and see if he knocks any castles over. Okay, I got one, two. Okay, now I need to get a third castle. So I'm going to drive forward again. I got three castles. I'm going for my fourth castle. I need to go forward some more though. All right. Oh, I got that one. Now I'm going to get the ones in the corner. I'm going to get the ones in the corner. Uh-oh, I need to go forward some more. I'm going to start again. I want to go up further so that I can get those castles in the corner. Okay, let's try this again. All right, I got two castles. And now I've got three castles. And now I need to turn some more. I'm gonna turn left and head back the other way. Okay. Oh, good. Somebody said they knocked down two castles. Can you get them all? Try to get them all. I think there's like 12. Try to get all 12 castles. Okay. All right, Miss Angela, it has been a real joy, guys. Um, Miss Carlotta has a 12 o'clock meeting that I have to get to, but you, you keep coding, right? You don't have to stop because I get off. Okay, Miss Angela is still there with you. Don't go, I don't wanna go. Maybe we can do this again later. When I leave, ask Miss Angela for help. Hi, tell Miss Angela I have to go blue beads, blue beads, blue mask. <laughs> and, but keep coding, keep coding. Who knocked down all the castles? Somebody knocked down eight? Somebody said they knocked down all the castles? Pretty cool, pretty cool. When I get off, Miss Angela can keep helping you until you're done with your coding for today, okay? 
Ask Miss Angela for help. Somebody else knocked down all the castles. Good job. Remember, once you knock down all your castles, go to one of the other games. Try number grid map. Try the art canvas. There's a wall maze, dynamic wall maze, disc mover, disc transport. Once you're done with Castle Crasher, try one of the other ones. Love you guys. Bye. This was fun. Bye-bye. Bye, Miss -bye. Angela. Thank you so much for your help. You've been a real blessing. No, <laughs> these kids. You've been a real blessing. All right, keep coding. Just because I get off, don't stop coding. You keep coding.